All right, we are back in our studio. We just talked about how to get modification indices in a standard confirmatory factor model. But right now, one of the important things for us is to compare the fit indices across different groups. And one of the options for us is to look at the model separately by group and then also compare the fit indices once we start constraining parameters. Right? So if we go now back and rerun for example our configural invariance model, so looking for structural equivalence. Right, so what we did here is we now estimate separate parameters per group. So we could again ask for the output. I don't want to bore you with all these details here again. But now what I could do is I could ask so what kind of parameters could be added to the model separately by by country. So I could again MI2 because it's modification indices um, in our separately to the ones that we asked for before. Modification indices now and now I go fit model one configural, right? And I again want to set minimum value of let's say 30 and sort true. Right. So we ran that and then if we now print it so what it will now show us what would be the improvement in chi-square again obviously if we would free up block one two and so on and so on um, this is essentially the the groups that we have here right so if we go back our first group is NZ second Brazil third Canada fourth the Philippines so it's it's a little bit awkward so essentially what it shows us here the largest change in our chi-square would be if we free up the correlation between help item 2 and help item 5 in New Zealand then our chi-square would go down by 83 as you can see, th those two items are negatively correlated with each other. The second largest chi-square change that we could expect is if we allow voice, the latent variable, to have a cross-loading from helping item number seven. So that's in the Brazilian sample. As you can see here, a lot of these uh, changes are actually pretty idiosyncratic and maybe not that helpful. As you can see again here help item 6 and 7 both in Canada and the Philippines seems to uh, show some kind of cross-loading but overall um, there's not really that much stuff going on that seems to be particularly useful from a um, change in chi-square and also potentially not very meaningful. But that is something that we can do in order to see what kind of additional parameters could be added separately for specific groups in order to improve our model fit. Right. So this is something we could do with the configur configural model. If we now start constraining parameters more. Right? So we go from a classic CFA model where we separately uh, estimate the parameters by group now to a model where we start constraining for example 
typically we start off with the factor loadings we constrain all factor loadings to be the same across groups right so this is the metric invariance model here which we ran last time around so we run this and as you can see now we again have all our parameters here and this factor loading here in the New Zealand sample is 0.91 and if we scroll down it is 0.91 in Brazil and it is 0.91 in Canada and in the Philippines right so we we could now compare model fit etc etc as we have done before but what happens for example if you want to see whether some of these constraints could be um, set to vary across groups right so we want to actually uh, free up some parameters that we set to be equal across groups there's one little command that we could add to that I will add something here so um, check for modifications to our model parameters uh, we basically want to see what parameters could be freed up and this would increase model fit right so there's a little command which uh, we incorporated into the CC psych package actually it's a command that is also part of the Levan model but the Levan uh, package sorry the Levan package the way it is implemented there is a little bit awkward because it doesn't really organize the output in a in a highly intuitive way so the CC psych package tries to help you by organizing it a little bit better so we could call it um, CC psych these two uh, colons basically now tell our please get the command from the CC psych package so and the command we want to get is actually called laugh it's already start coming here it's Levan test score dot clean so it um, it is something that tests which parameters could be uh, freed up and we just called it clean because it's a more it's a cleaner way of showing the results if you just uh, type in left test score um, you will see what I mean and what we need to do now is we need to put in the specific model that we want to look at so we want to look at the fit model one metric if we run this it will take a few seconds and now it will show us first of all um, the total test score so overall we could free or we could reduce our chi-square by about 80 um, and here it shows us between group 1 and group 2 if we would free up the the loading of helping item 1 on the latent variable uh, variable uh, helping then the chi-square would go down by this amount and that would be the kind of um, whether the reduction in chi-square is actually significant or not as you can see most of the changes if we scroll down here right so for example this is a chi-square reduction that is significant uh, it would go down by 17 nearly 18 so the loading of voice item 4 on the voice latent variable if we would free that up between New Zealand and the Philippines we would get an increase or it, sorry a decrease in our chi-square value of 17.7 um, let's have a look what happens with the fourth item for voice uh, loading so New Zealand Brazil would go down by about six 
uh, New Zealand Canada it would go down yeah it's not really that dramatic but as you can see this this is a very useful way of looking at what kind of parameters could be freed up if we wanted to free them up right so this is a very useful command once we run into problems with our model fit but if you remember the the model fit was actually quite good if we go back up here so this is something we did um, in the last video session when we looked at the initial fit indices for the configurable versus the metric model so as you can see the um, deterioration of fit from the configurable to the metric model is actually pretty small is less than 0.01 uh, the same for the TLI so as you can see there's not really that much of a reason for us to further look into you know like um, freeing up some parameters and as you have seen here there's not really that much going on you may wonder though and here is just to show you how to actually do this if we wanted to free up parameters the way to do this is um, let's just go here how to free up parameters and this is what is called partial invariance so we are getting into the partial invariance um, modeling right now because what we're doing is we are constraining parameters to be equal across groups but we might run into the problems where you know like some of the parameters actually vary between groups and if we have a majority of items performing equally well across groups it might be permissible to free up a few items to vary or a few parameters to vary across groups so if we wanted to for example free up factor loadings we could use our commands from up here again if I just copy this down right just to show you what the command would look like so we have our fit model one metric so now we would say we want to have a partial model our overall model stays the same so it's model one that we had created further up our data stays the same um, we set the latent variables um, to have a variance of one then our grouping variable is country in our data set and we restricted all the factor loadings to be equal and now we want to add a little command line here which is actually group partial and now we want to specify which sections we want to free up in case we want to free up multiple ones uh, we would use this one but let's say for example um, which one was it it was voice 4 right that was loading on voice uh, the latent variable so if we now say we want to free up this particular um, item and it can now freely vary across groups so if we wanted to do this we run our um, analysis and now we want to have a summary because I just want to show you what it looks like now once we freed up the this particular parameter to vary between groups so we want to fit model one metric partial and we could for the time being it doesn't really matter that much we could ask for fit measures of course standardized uh, values and r squares etc etc let's see fit uh, measures oops true standard standardized true 
oh wait, it should be, yeah, standardized, true. Right. So, now, what will happen? Any wild guess? Just to show you what happens is we freed up this particular parameter. So now what you can see here is there is no more um, an indication that this parameter will be held equal across groups and it is now freely estimated for each of the groups. Right. So this is our New Zealand data set. So here the loading is 0 0.97 if we scroll down to the next group, so Brazil, here the loading is 0.915, Canada 1.04, and the Philippines 1.127, right? So this is just to show you how you can free up parameters to vary across groups and this is what is called partial measurement invariance, right? So in our case, it doesn't really matter that much. The fit does not improve that much either. If we would go back up here, uh, so yeah, if we compare 0.945 compared to the results that we had just before for the configural versus the metric, yeah, it is 0 0.001, an improvement in, in fit. That's not really worth it, right? But it, this is just to show you how you could actually do it if you wanted to. If you want to run the same kind of thing now for loadings and intercepts, so we run a full score um, equivalence invariance test, and we wanted to free up for example, intercepts later, instead of putting the loadings in here, we would basically specify that the intercept has to uh, or can be, can vary freely between groups, right? So we would do that exactly in the same way. All right, that is it for modification indices for the time being. Remember to always save your scripts.